Hi guys and welcome back to Logan's Runway and um, it is time for me to film my May favourites video because we are now in June um, not that I can really quite believe it I'm not really sure where the year has gone so far but um, anywho um, I will um, just get started and show you some of the um, sort of fashion and beauty items that I've been absolutely loving over the last month and um, unlike last month um, my April favourites video which was a lot more sort of beauty orientated I would say definitely um, in May there's more fashion and um, sort of items and products that um, I've been sort of like loving a bit more I think I think that's probably just because the weather's been getting a bit better and I've been able to sort of dig out some of the sort of summary things I've been wanting to wear um, and also the few things I've been wanting to get my, hand, my hands on for a while that I finally did um, but there are still sort of some beauty things there as well so I'll just get started and um, yeah share with you my favourite fashion pieces and definitely my first one is my H&M bright neon pink uh, jumper and this is the jumper that I actually had on in my last video, so my April favourites video, this is actually the, the, the jumper that I was wearing and I absolutely love this, it's a really sort of open knit, so um, it does actually have, um, you know, sort of openings here which sort of sit down the shoulders like that. Um, but the rest of the knit itself is quite sort of open. It's not um, a really sort of heavy, thick jumper, which makes it perfect for sort of spring, summer and kind of like when the weather's getting a bit nicer, but not too nice. It's kind of like you never sort of overheating it. You never get too warm. If you want to like layer a vest underneath it, you can so that you kind of you can stay a bit warmer or which how I've really been enjoying wearing it is literally just wearing it as it is with like a bra underneath. Um, and just like sort of wearing it with prints, wearing it with skirts, wearing it with like midi skirts and midi dresses um, and I've actually featured this in, in an outfit post on my blog so I'll link that below so that you can see that and um, yeah it was 14 99 and they've got them in loads of different colours sort of green and white and um, I think it's like a bluey colour as well but this is just the one that um, sort of like I got um, attracted to I love the bright sort of neon colour it's just perfect um, for sort of spring summer and just yeah puts me in a better mood when I wear it and um, I've absolutely loved it so if you are in the market for a sort of summery jumper then I would definitely recommend getting yourself down to H&M because this is a total bargain and I've literally been absolutely loving it all month and it's definitely the jumper that I've turned to the most. And my next um, fashion item that I've absolutely loved in May is this neck scarf from Primark and um, it was literally like three or four pounds and it cost hardly anything at all but I really really like it it's a sort of it's a skull it is actually a skull sort of print but then at the same time it's got sort of like lots of sort of like black ink sort of almost just like the perfect sort of monochrome um, neck scarf it's like really lightweight so you can wear it you know sort of during the day you can wear it at night and it's um yeah it's just one of those sort of like pieces that I've just found myself turning to time and time again when I'm not really sure about my out outfit if I just feel that it's a bit mm, a bit blind I kind of want to put something else with it this has been like really good it looks great against sort of like really bright colours but it actually looks really good against monochrome as well sort of a bit of a clash um, of prints sometimes so yeah I've absolutely loved wearing this and it's kind of like look I found myself sort of just when I'm leaving the house if I just feel like I, my outfit needs something else this is like always the thing that I've, 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 I've sort of like grabbed and picked up so I really really like it and like Primark I've always got loads of you know sort of scarves and things that are there just as you're queuing up and um you know some of them are a bit hit and miss and you could kind of like avoid them really but this is just such a kind of easy one to wear it's monochrome it's sort of like really non-offensive and it just kind of it just sort of fits in your wardrobe perfectly so I've absolutely loved wearing that this month it's been uh, really really handy and the next um piece of fashion um, item that I've absolutely loved and hence the big smile on my face um, is my bright neon uh, yellow satchel bag and I've been after one of these for such a long time and um, I just seem to have so many dramas with it every time I went online to order one it was either sold out or there was waiting lists and different things so I was so happy when I finally got it um, a few weeks ago 
and I've literally been, wear I've been wearing it all the time. It's like the perfect sort of bag if you just want your outfit to have a bit more of a pop. It looks if you're just wearing sort of monochromes or blacks, um, it's just like the perfect. It just gives such a pop of colour to an outfit, um, and I absolutely love it. I actually, um, in the end, ordered this from a website called Viva La Diva, which is a shoe and handbag website, and I'll I'll do a link below so that um, you can see that. And it's yeah it's just perfect it's you know a very sort of like classic um satchel style like loads of space for all my sort of bits and bobs like my tram pass and you know phone and makeup and purse and all that jazz and it's um yeah it's it's, it's just great and i absolutely love it and if you have been considering getting a neon bag then i would definitely say go for it there's lo I know there's loads of different colours, there's like oranges and pinks and things like that, but I really I really wanted like the, the sort of bright neon yellow. And there's so many different places that are doing this. Um loads of places online like Misguided and sort of Boohoo and people like that. Um as I say, Viva La Diva, who I ended up getting mine from. But also um there is obviously a lot more high end um, you know, versions and equivalents of this. Um, like the actual sort of satchel, um, you know, company and things like that. There's lots of, you know, lots of these on, on the market. And then there's obviously a lot more, you know, sort of cheaper high street versions of it as well. So mine's sort of a middle of the road version. It's sort of somewhere in between the two. But I absolutely love it. And um, yeah, it's just been, just has brightened up my May. Um, every time I've, uh, I've worn it, people have always had a lot of compliments. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. And it's um, yeah been my favourite bag definitely of the month. So that's that. And my last um, sort of fashion piece that I've literally just adored for the whole of um, May are my proper old old school leopard print um, cropped trousers from uh, last summer. And as I say, I've literally had these for like well over a year. They like got they've got stretchy at the at the stretchy at the top and a really sort of like loose pajama style um is the way I would describe these sort of elasticated waist um sort of like quite loose fitting all the way down and it's a really they're really sort of like nice soft material so you can either sort of turn them up at the bottom or you can just leave them sort of um you know hanging straight and I literally absolutely love these I loved them last summer. Um, and then I sort of put them away and then I dug them out again and I just I just love them they're like one of my favorite favorite pieces of clothing like in my entire wardrobe now they're perfect for like wearing like with uh, just like ballet pumps and you know sort of if you're going into work or if you're like running around sort of town doing sort of errands or shopping or whatever they just look great and really sort of stylish and they look great with like really really bright sort of neon colours or just completely classic like black and white. They look good with peplum styles, they look good with like denim, they just they just go with everything but at the same time they look great Um, you know sort of dressed up for like a night out with like a crop top and like heels and things. So I've actually quite recently featured these in an outfit post, although I've featured them in loads of outfit posts over the years, so I won't link them all because there'll be loads. But um, I recently featured these in an outfit post with the yellow satchel, so I'll link that below for you to have a look at. But yeah, just absolute favourite, favourite trousers. Not just of May, just full stop. So love them. Absolutely love them. And... I said the last fashion item, but the actual, um, my last sort of non-beauty related item um, that's a favourite of the month are my heels, my H&M summer sandals. I absolutely love these. Again, if you follow my blog, you will have seen these on there because I've featured these a couple of times. But these for me are just like the perfect summer sandal. They're like, the leather's really soft. Um, it's a really sort of solid chunky heel so it's not too delicate so like you can wear it to work and you can you know sort of wear it like around the city and it, you don't feel sort of you know too like you're sort of like tottering along and um, they're really really comfy and I really like the fact that it's like solid leather all the way down and just a sort of little peep toe from the front they almost look sort of um, shoe booty if you see what I mean and then or like sort of ankle booty um, and then they've just got this sort of really thick strap at the back so they're kind of like not too feminine but at the same time not too not too kind of edgy and they're just the perfect perfect um, sort of sandal for me and I've absolutely loved wearing them and 
I've worn them loads throughout May and I will continue to do so for the rest of the summer. So definitely my favourite shoe of the month. So that's that. And moving on now to some of the um, sort of beauty um, like related sort of items that I've really enjoyed using this month. Um, my favourite hair care sort of product that I've um, that I've really enjoyed using is this um, sexy hair um, product, and it's got argan oil in it, and it's a soil renewal treatment. Soil renewal treatments, I have to say. Um, and this is a bottle. It's just like a little mini size. I got it when I was at a recent blog event um, about sort of a month or so ago. And um, you can purchase these. Um, there's a um, hairdresser in Manchester called Too Funky Hair. And um, I know they supply sexy hair, but obviously, you know, they are supplied all around the country and I'll, I'll, I'll do a link to the website to them. But this is basically a styling sort of treatment. So it's like an oil, like essentially just like a Moroccan sort of argan oil um, sort of treatment. I'll see if I can just get a little bit there. Ooh. So it's literally just like an oil sort of there that you like mix in to the ends of your hair so um when you come out of the um shower you um sort of brush out your wet hair and then you just like rub the oil like through the ends and um, up to about here um and sort of, like mostly concentrate around like the ends and the sides and um it helps protect it when it's blow drying it also speeds up the blow drying process and um just leaves the hair feeling like really sort of nourished and conditioned and um, i've really really noticed the difference that like, using this over the past month my hair feels a lot more it doesn't feel as um sort of it feels a bit more in sort of in control if you see what I mean it's not frizzing as much it feels nice and soft at the ends and um yeah it's just a really really good product I'm really really pleased with it and I'll definitely be taking it um on my holidays um next week because I think it'll be perfect for you know coming out of the beach or coming out of the pool and you wash your hair and it's still feeling a little bit damaged I think it's like the perfect product for that so I'm really really pleased with that and I would definitely recommend um the sexy hair product range if you can um sort of get your hands on that so I'll do a link for that below and favourite nail polish of the month um, has been my Jelly High Shine um, Barry M uh, nail polishes and this one is Blood Orange. I had quite a few compliments of, of this um, on um, Instagram when I um, sort of popped um, a photo of it on there and I'd also had quite a lot of compliments just like from my friends and like family and things. People said, wow that's a really sort of like nice colour, what is it? Because on here it just looks like it's a red colour and it is a bright red but it does sort of have this kind of like hint, it's not just, it's not tr like true red red, it's kind of got a slight hint of of orange if that sort of makes any sense but it's just a really really nice colour it's not just your sort of typical um sort of red colour and it's really bright and vibrant and I've um I've really really enjoyed wearing that this last month so that's definitely been my favourite um nail polish of the month and finally last but not least my um favourite um sort of applicator sort of um sort of makeup um uh product piece of the month has been my uh, Real Techniques um, shading brush and um, it's this one here it doesn't need a wash I'll apologize um, but I've just absolutely loved it I've absolutely loved using this this month it's like the perfect sort of crease and sort of blending out and um, sort of brush it's really soft and it just really gets in there and you can really sort of like build the color up in the crease with it and um, it's yeah it's just a really really fab brush and I've absolutely loved it so um real techniques need no um explanation uh, explanation introduction like I'm sure you guys have all heard them and I'm sure half of you are already using this but it's definitely been my favorite um sort of beauty brush um of the month of May and I've virtually used it every single day so that's great so that is me, that is all of my um, May favourites. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and um, as I say, I'll do links below to all the products and things and uh, I would love to know what you think about um, all of these products. So if you've used any of them before, um, I'd love to hear your comments and um, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon and thanks so much for watching. See you soon, bye.